Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this particular problem statement, uh, we are going to solve <coughs> the problem of uh, pentagonal pyramid, right? Of side 100 mm and axis length is given 150 mm, okay, which is rested on edge of base in HP, okay. For the, the axis of the pyramid is given 45 degrees to HP, okay. So we have to solve the projection of this pentagonal uh, pyramid, okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw first the XY reference line, okay, then place escape, okay. So now it is rested on edge of base in HP. So in projection of solid, basically, you need to uh, the right hand side will be a line. Okay, which is perpendicular to x, y. So I am going to select the polygon command from here. Okay, and the number of sides in the pentagon is 5. Okay, then pressing the below button on the keyboard, selecting H. Okay, and now I am going to draw one basically uh, so it is somewhat nearer to the screen so what i am going to do is i am going to again going to select this particular pentagon select for you h right and from here i am going to uh, select that okay so now you can check that so this is basically 100 mm so this is basically one autocad unit right so this is basically my pentagon okay of uh, 100 mm side so for uh, checking you can make the dimensions like that so from here i am going to check this is one autocad here on the base SK, okay, converting into cyan uh, color. Okay, now I need to take the center of this particular pentagon. So, I told you in the last uh, tutorial, okay, how I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, mark uh, or draw the perpendiculars from the midpoint. Okay, so this is the midpoint. Okay, so I'll click on snap. Okay. Now I'm going to select the midpoint. Okay, so this is first line. Okay, similarly, from every point I need to draw the perpendicular on the opposite uh, side. Okay, so this is basically the midpoint again. From this particular point, I'm going to draw another project perpendicular on this particular line. Okay, so this is midpoint. Okay, so from this particular line, I'm going to draw another perpendicular on this line. Okay, and from this particular place okay i'm going to draw another perpendicular on this particular point okay so now this is basically the center okay of the uh, pentagon right so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to first uh, make it uh, thick okay so that it should be visible okay and this is basically uh, clicking on the lwd now uh, my edge will be visible so from this particular point right so which points will be visible this line will be visible okay so i'm going to make it thick further uh, this particular line is going to be visible and this is also going to be uh, visible okay so this and uh, this line okay press escape so this is going to be visible and this particular line is going to be visible from the top uh, view okay right i hope this is correct okay this is one face uh, yes and control z okay so this is pentagonal pyramid so from the top okay uh, I'm going to uh, basically trim the unwanted lines, okay? So that's why trim, okay? So I'm going to select this particular object, okay? Then press enter, going to trim it, selecting the object, okay? And then enter, and now I'm trimming the unwanted lines, okay? So this is line I want to unwanted uh, trim it. This particular line I want to trim it, this particular line I want to trim it, this and this. Okay. Now basically this is now visible. Okay, so now this particular lines I need to uh, mark it as a thick. Okay, so this is basically your imagination. Okay, so this is how my pentagon will look like from the uh, top. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the perpendicular projectors okay on the xy line okay 
this is one of the projector so from this particular point if i draw so this will pass from here okay so better to press escape i'm going to draw from this particular point okay on the x y line press escape similarly from this particular point i'm going to draw the projector also from the center okay now my this is basically the true shape of the base now true shape of the solid will be my uh, triangle okay and the axis is given how much uh, length of the axis is given 150 mm okay so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to draw one line from this particular point which is basically how much so click on the snap okay so 150 mm so 1.5 autocad okay and this is basically you know i click on the snap and this is basically my uh basically the axis so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert it into hidden lines so this is hidden to i'm going to select it okay and i'm going to convert this particular line into hidden color okay and i'm going to convert all the projectors line into cyan color further i'm going to give the dimensions okay so before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to join this particular line to this particular point this particular line to this particular point okay and this particular point to this particular line okay so this should be perpendicular it is going to join here okay so you can check this is basically perpendicular okay now i am going to join this particular base as well press escape now i am going to convert all this outer line into uh, thick uh, color okay and this particular axis also in the thick products okay so this is basically my true shape of the solid this is true shape of the solid this is true shape of the base this is basically true shape of the uh, sorry, so I am going to give the dimensions here. Click align. Okay, so from this particular point, this particular point, this is basically 1.5 AutoCAD. Okay, so now I am going to convert into uh, CR color. So now I am going to give the naming. Okay, we take so from this step only you can give the naming and uh, 0.2 height and rotation angle is 0. So this is basically my point A. This is particularly my point uh, B. Okay, this is particularly point C, this point is D, this particular point is E, and this is basically equal to O slash P. Okay, so this is basically my A dash, this particular point is my A dash, B dash. Okay, this particular point is my this one, particular point is my P dash this point is my c dash d dash and here basically this is my o dash okay further i am going to uh, give the x y reference line okay so this is my x y reference line this is my bp in bp i always draw front view this is my hp in hp i always draw top view Right, and here you are always writing your name. Okay, so Dr. Sangha Ratna, right? G H R C U. Okay, press escape. Okay, now I have drawn this particular thing. Okay, now I need to basically, okay, what I need to do is, okay, so you can zoom it and you can change it. Okay, or else you can press J enter A. Okay. So here basically the axis of the pyramid is inclined 45 degrees to HP. This axis inclination is given that means my base inclination will be 90 minus axis inclination. So here in this case it will be 45 degrees. So to do that what I am going to do is I am going to copy this particular figure. Okay. Control. Escape. Okay. I am going to copy this. Okay. Right click on this, copy it. Okay, I'm going to paste it by Control V, right? And I'm going to place it, for example, 
here okay on the x y reference line now again i need to copy it okay i need to uh, rotate this particular command okay and i need to select the base point so on this particular c dash d dash because it is rested on the edge of the base so this particular particularly should be rotated so from this particular point i'm going to rotate it okay the angle is basically if you take a uh, plus 45 it will be nearest okay so i'm taking the minus angle rotation angle is basically minus 45 degree. okay so now you can check okay so this is basically my uh, you know the inclination of this okay so for the checking you can check the angular dimension okay so i'm selecting this line and this particular axis okay so it is basically 45 degree line which is satisfied our uh, conditions okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the perpendicular projectors from all this particular point okay place xy again from this particular point i'm going to draw another projector line from this particular point i'm going to draw another projector line this escape from this particular point i'm going to draw another projector line this escape and from apex or vertex basically i'm going to draw another uh, projector line similarly from the here i'm going to draw the horizontal projectors from this particular point i'm going to draw another projectors from o dash and this particular point it will be again on the horizontal projector line from c dash it is with horizontal projector and from b dash i'm going to draw another projector line okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert all these projection lines into a cyan color okay now i'm going to mark the points okay is escape okay so selecting points from here so this is a dash line so this is my particular point a this is e dash and b dash so this is my e dash this particular point is my b dash okay and this is p dash line center so this is my center p one right this is my c dash d dash so this particular point is my uh, d dash or d one and this particular point is my c right and this is o line so this is basically my o point okay that is apex or vertex okay now i am going to join these particular lines okay i am clicking on ortho so i am first of all joining the outer boundaries so you need to join outer boundaries first okay so i'm joining all the outer boundaries okay okay so now what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to join this particular uh, line or by thick color okay the outer of the uh, is a pyramid okay and now press escape okay and i'm going to uh, give the naming okay so that it should be visible okay detect select any point on the screen point 2 rotation angle 0 okay so this is basically my point a1 this particular point is my b1 this particular point is my c1 this is my d one and this particular point is my e1 the center will be my p1 and this is basically o1 okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to join so from oa there is a line okay so if i'm joining this particular line okay so i need to join this from this particular point to this particular point okay and i'm going to convert it into uh, thick okay broad okay then there is ob ob is there o and b is connection is there so i am going to join from this particular line to this particular point okay and again from o e connection is there so from particular point o okay i am going to join this particular center okay e okay so you can zoom it okay then 
from OD. OD is there. Okay, so OD is already connected, and OC. OC is also connected. Okay, so I am going to mark it as a uh, thick. Okay, then this particular point. Okay, C and D is the line. Okay, this is basically the base. Okay, so I am going to, but this should be. This will be invisible. Okay, so I am going to join it. I am going to convert it into hidden line. Okay. And a tick, okay. So now this is basically you know uh, the top view of the uh, pyramid, okay. So I'm going to give the naming for your understanding. Uh, detect, select any point on the screen, point two, rotation angle is zero, okay. So this is basically my two shape of uh, the base. This is basically my two shape of uh, the solid okay and this is basically top view of the uh, pyramid okay so you can uh, zoom it okay press escape z enter a enter okay so if you like this particular video uh, please like share and subscribe